Mason means mathematics, engineering, science achievement. One of the things that we at First Nations Mesa always try to instill within our students is the Mesa mindset. To have creative confidence, to embrace ambiguity, to iterate, 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 and to fail forward. When you embrace all of those ideas, it empowers the students because they're not afraid to mess up. They know that they can try again. What First Nations Mesa um, exposes our students to is the opportunity to learn about STEM, technology on a daily basis, how you can apply it in the real world, problem solving skills. Mesa gives opportunities to kids that they would not ever had. We took some students to the state competition who had never been to Seattle, for instance. Going and getting to see other kids at the regional at Heritage University and also at the state, it just kind of broadens their horizons quite a bit. Mesa um, is an amazing program and the kids that I have taught and have been part of Mesa, you know, they are the future of our country and we have to give them the tools, we have to give them what they need to see and to be able to dream and to be able to say, you know what, that's what I want to do. Since I first started First Nations Mesa, I've grown a lot. Um, in the future, I'm looking to go into the field of like doctors and stuff. And I believe First Nations Mesa has prepared me for that a lot, just because just with all the work they put in front of me and everything they've showed me. The First Nations Mesa program comes in, they come in with the supplies that we need to work with our students. They come in with the resources. And without First Nations Mesa, and the staff, we would not um, be able to provide this engaging opportunity for our students. For many years, First Nations Mesa has um, done a lot with a little. We had to be incredibly creative in the materials, supplies, and resources. Um, but over the years, we've been able to have partners that have been invested in what we do, such as Heritage University, that have utilize their own resources in support of our efforts, in support of our cause. Especially here in Wapato, it's a small rural district. We would not be able to give these kids this opportunity that they get to have without First Nations Mesa participating. When we give them the tools and the opportunity and we start young, it, we can do amazing things. I hear it every time I'm doing a STEM activity, I hear them saying, you know what, I really want to do this. I, I didn't think I was good at this, but I am really good at this. Teachers have seen the impact and the proof that Mesa is effective. It works and it engages their students more than anything else could. We're at 514 kids, 21 teachers, 12 school districts. Over the nine years, we've had such high success with our kids going on to a STEM career or STEM degree. I did learn a lot and it was very fun and I believe with the knowledge I gained from that, I'll be prepared for college. To show students their future isn't limited by where they live, it isn't limited by their income, it isn't limited by the color of their skin or their religion. To understand that, to experience that, is what I want to ensure that every student here on the Yakima Reservation has that opportunity. Who knows? they could come back to our community and be that future doctor, to be that future engineer, to be that future biologist, hydrologist, computer scientist, computer engineer, and make our community a little bit better. I am Gregory King, Executive Director of Washington Mesa, and I approve this message. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Gregory King and I am the Executive Director for Washington Mesa. And I am thrilled to welcome you to our first ever Washington Mesa Champions Virtual Fundraiser. Although of course we'd rather be together in person celebrating our students, alumni, educators and community, we are so grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us this afternoon in this online space. We're excited to bring this event to you wherever you may be. We promise you that this hour that we spend together will be fun, enlightening, and an enriching use of our time together. 
Here at Washington Mesa, we launched a campaign this year that really gets to the heart of who we are as an organization. It's something that we're very proud of because it captures a spirit that makes us so unique. We call it Mesa Magic. Mesa Magic is that feeling that our students have of the supportive connection with the Washington Mesa community while working towards goals and aspirations that stem together. We all feel it. And we're excited to share that Mesa Magic with you this afternoon in our 2021 Virtual Washington Mesa Advancing Equity and Conquering STEM. Now I am both delighted and honored to welcome someone who truly embodies that Mesa Magic to you. It is my great honor and privilege to introduce the host of our fundraiser, Dr. Chelsea Berry. Dr. Berry serves as one of our cherished Washington Mesa board members, in addition to being the Associate Dean for STEM and Business at Seattle Central College, which is also a Mesa school. I can personally tell you that Dr. Berry lives that Mesa magic in everything she does. As a board member, she is constantly challenging us to all do better. You can just feel the passion that she has for the work through the ideas that she brings to the table and the way she listens to others as they share their thoughts about how we can continue to help students thrive. So without further ado, please everyone, let's give a warm Washington Mesa welcome to our host, Dr. Chelsea Berry. Thank you, Dr. King, for that warm and gracious welcome. I am truly excited and honored to be part of this afternoon's event. It's our very first virtual Washington Mesa's champion celebration. Now, before we begin, let's take a moment to reflect on the First Nations video that was aired prior to the start of the event. Wasn't that a beautiful video highlighting the First Nations Mesa program and the incredible work they are doing around our state. It's simply outstanding. Serving and supporting our Native American community is of utmost importance to Washington Mesa. And at this time, I'd like for us to do the land acknowledgement. On behalf of Washington Mesa, I acknowledge the land on which we stand today as the home of the Coast Salish people, the home of all tribes and bands within the Duwamish, Suquamish, Tulalip, and Muckleshoot Nations. Without them, we would not have access to this gathering and to this dialogue. I ask that we take this opportunity to thank the original caretakers of this land who are still here and may even be in this space with us virtually. And now, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, students, alumni, fellow educators and everyone who is watching us wherever you are. Welcome. Welcome to the 2021 Frost, how much do we have until the Champions Virtual Fundraiser, where our theme is advancing and conquering equity in STEM. Now, as we get this celebration started, let me remind everyone what MESA stands for. MESA stands for Mathematics, Engineering, Science, Achievement. We are absolutely delighted that despite the many, and I do mean many challenges that 2020 and 2021 have thrown our way, we have all prioritized this virtual event and its opportunity to raise awareness and raise money to support the transformative power of education. The past 12 months have been some of the most trying times we've witnessed in our lifetimes. Over a half million of our fellow Americans lost their lives to COVID-19, and a disproportionate number of which are Black and Brown people. We saw countless cities, including our beloved Seattle, convulsed with frustration and outrage over the injustices that Black Americans have endured since we arrived on America's shores. We were also given the gift of hope as we witnessed the first African-American, Asian-American woman become elected and sworn in as Vice President of the United States of America, Madam Kamala Harris. That same hope we extend to you today as we celebrate the resilience, perseverance, and academic excellence of Washington Mesa scholars. 
Now, I certainly share Dr. King's heartfelt sentiment that we would much rather be having this in person with you all. So first and for foremost, thank you. Thank you for YouTubing and Facebooking into this fundraiser from wherever you may be. Many of us are on video calls all day, every day. And the fact that you are here on a video screen is a testament to your commitment to Washington Mesa and the work that we do to create educational opportunities. I would also like to thank the generous support of our community partners, including Microsoft, Boeing, and the Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity at University of Washington. Together, we all work towards providing more opportunities for the students we serve. This event is so meaningful and so important towards us. It's, it's one of our greatest opportunities to share the work that Washington Mesa is doing to support Black and African American, Latino, Hispanic, Native American, and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander students as they strive towards successful STEM careers. This is what we call Mesa Magic. At this fundraiser, we are asking for your generous contributions as we raise money toward all the valuable activities and programs for nearly 3,500 students and counting throughout the state of Washington. Our goal this year is to raise $100,000 and I am confident that we can do it. This $100,000 will help support the mission of empowering minoritized students of color by providing them an opportunity that supports their pathways to higher education in STEM. This happens through holistic MESA student support at the K-12 school systems and at community colleges. It also supports STEM scholarships to community colleges and universities. So we're only going to reach this goal of $100,000 with your support. And some of you all have already donated and we thank you. We are incredibly grateful that we begin this event with $23,450. So donating to Washington Mesa is simple to do using our online platform, which can be accessed at any time during this event. We've provided the donation link in the chat on both YouTube and Facebook. Simply click on that link and it will take you directly to the donations page. Or you can open up a new browser and type in bit.ly forward slash Mesa donate. Additionally, there's a virtual auction where you can bid on a wide selection of items that are sure to encourage rest and relaxation. The auction bidding link will also be in the chat box on YouTube and Facebook. So please click there at any time to enter your bids. You can also open a new browser there and type in bit.ly forward slash Mesa auction to access the auction bidding page. And throughout the event, I'll update everyone on how close we are to reaching our 100,000 fundraiser goal. Later on, I'll have the distinct honor of introducing our keynote speaker, Washington Mesa alumna, and my dear friend, Dr. Keisha Scarlett. And I also have the great pleasure of highlighting one of the students I am so proud to call our own, Shanaylin Godwin. And as you'll see and hear, both of these outstanding women exude Mesa magic in absolutely everything they do. But next, I would like to bring back Dr. Gregory King, who has served as the Executive Director for Washington Mesa since 2019. Dr. King has devoted his career to increasing educational opportunities for underserved and low-income youth. We would not be more fortunate to have him in this leadership position as he oversees six K-12 Mesa centers and 12 Mesa Community College programs throughout the state of Washington. So friends and colleagues, please let's welcome back Dr. King who will share the vision and future of Washington Mesa for 2021 and beyond. Thank you so much, Dr. Barry. And thank you for hosting this wonderful fundraiser for us. I am incredibly excited to share our 2021 goals for Washington Mesa with all of you. Of course, this past year has been challenging for all of us, 
but I'm happy to say that we have an exciting future ahead. Together, with your generous support, we can accomplish our goals and create a more equitable future of STEM. During this past year, our centers pivoted to virtual or hybrid learning environments almost overnight. In a credibly short time span, our students, their caretakers, and teachers have adjusted to a completely new educational method. And even with these new obstacles in place, our students will continue to excel. Mesa students continue to overcome COVID-19 barriers to pursue STEM degrees and careers. It has been incredible to see how well they have adapted to these environments in such a short amount of time. Our Mesa students never cease to amaze me. You see, when we talk about that Mesa magic, we're talking about our community providing the support that our African American, Hispanic, Native American, Alaska Native, Pacific Islanders, and women need in order to excel in STEM educational opportunities. We created a sense of belonging and instilled confidence in students that we serve in Washington Mesa. The money we raise today will support our students across Washington. For over 40 years, Washington Mesa has been leading STEM education for diversity, equity, and inclusion throughout our state. And this year, as a result of COVID, our students have even more important needs than ever before. We have an ambitious goal this year of raising $100,000 in a virtual fundraiser so that we can continue to provide the services and programs our students need so that they can succeed in quality STEM educational opportunities. Every dollar raised is greatly appreciated, and we thank you in advance. As Dr. Berry reminded us, MESA stands for Mathematics, Engineering, Science Achievement. And it's that achievement that is so important to us. We need our students to succeed so that they can graduate with a STEM degree and succeed in a STEM career. Our goal at Washington Mesa is to recruit and serve more students of color with a STEM education and to diversify the STEM workforce. Our Washington Mesa students will make an impact in their communities and family throughout Washington. We currently support over 1,250 kindergarten through 12th grade students that we all want to matriculate through Mesa and graduate from college. Additionally, we support over 600 community college students as they pursue their STEM degree or earn transfer credits for a STEM degree. We assist our students with degree completion, diversifying the STEM workforce, and positively impacting our economy. That has a multiplier effect on the benefits to our local communities, our state, as well as the nation. In 2021, we have three main goals that we're looking to help to achieve our mission. They are Mesa student support, fund higher education STEM scholarships for Mesa High School seniors, and fund community college scholarships to provide financial support. Let's look at some of the examples of how we're going to do this. Let's first start off with supporting students. Our students are engaged in educational opportunities that are highly project-based learning environments. That means traditionally, just the very nature of STEM, these are normally very hands-on learning environments. Part of the pride that we have when we talk about Mesa Magic is the support and empowerment that our communities provide to our students. Our students thrive when they can meet face-to-face -face and see their friends and mentors in person. While part of that is lost as we move online, we continue to connect our students and provide additional support. And I'd like to take this moment to thank our centers, staff, and educators who have done an incredible job creating these networks that support our students as they establish and grow their relationships in these virtual environments. Creating a community of support our students can overcome and conquer imposter syndromes and eradicate stereotype threat. The relationships and friendships they form 
with other students and mentors throughout Washington Mesa creates a network to help them graduate with a STEM degree and empower them with the skills, knowledge, and confidence they need in order to have a successful STEM career. As stated earlier, our, since our students have our, since our students have moved to this virtual programming, they have been working very closely within our centers around the state. Our centers have been extremely creative in the way they have had to operate. They are delivering materials entirely new ways and are learning how to make virtual environments more engaging for our students. Likewise, we emphasize teacher development to better equip them in educating our students in a virtual environment. One of our favorite activities that Washington Mesa is thrilled to support are both the state and national competitions that our students compete in. Sadly, most competitions in 2020 were canceled due to COVID-19. But I'm excited to say that in 2021, our competitions are coming back in a virtual learning environment and Washington Mesa is going to be right there supporting our students so that they can compete, learn and have fun in these important STEM educational events. I know our students are going to do well in them as they compete with some of the other best and brightest students across Washington and across the United States. And lastly, our second and third goal for 2021 is to provide scholarships and financial support to our pre-college and community college students. Your donations will help fund our first Mesa Community College Scholarships. One of these changes to the college environment system is that the SAT will be going away. One of the consequences of of this is it raises a serious questions for how students will receive scholarships. This is especially true for students of color who Washington Mesa serves. Many of our college students work while they're going to college to financially support themselves and or their families. This creates an incredible amount of additional pressure on our Mesa students who must endure as they work towards pursuing their STEM degrees or transferring to a four-year STEM college. At Washington Mesa, we support our, our community college students and we want all of them to have scholarships. We can provide scholarships to students. They can focus more on pursuing their education rather than working. These are just some of the examples where your donations can help support Washington Mesa so that they can succeed in their STEM degree and career. Over the tw past 12 months, we have all experienced one of the most tumultuous times in our collective history. But we can continue to move forward and focus on all the wonderful possibilities that are just in front of our students. 2020, 20, 2021 is going to be an incredible year for Washington Mesa. We are going to provide Mesa student support as our students continue their STEM education in their virtual and hybrid learning environments. Our senators are going to play a critical role in providing the best virtual programming available that will empower our students' success. And we're going to have so much fun cheering our Washington Mesa students as they compete in their upcoming competitions. I can't wait. And also, we're going to fund higher education STEM scholarships for Mesa High School seniors, in addition to funding our first ever Mesa Community College Scholarship. We could be we could not be more thrilled to offer this financial support to our Mesa students so they can continue to pursue STEM education and their careers that will follow. What incredible opportunities lies ahead. And we can only accomplish these goals with your generous support. So please join me in supporting and empowering students of color as they str strive towards successful STEM careers. Together, we got that Mesa magic. Thank you so much, Dr. King, for providing us with an update on the vision and future for Washington Mesa for 2021 and beyond. The future is so bright for Washington Mesa. And as Dr. King mentioned, these programs are only available through the funds offered through your support. It's all a part of what keeps that Mesa magic alive.
So donating to Washington Mesa, again, is really easy and it can be done during any time during this event. Simply click on the URL code in the chat, which is B-I-L-T dot L-Y forward slash Mesa donate, and it will direct you to our donation page or you can use your smartphone and point your camera at the QR code that you see right there on your screen. It's really simple. You can even try it now. You can point your phone at that code. If you have any problems donating, you can always email us at wamesa at uw.edu. Now, once you get to that donation page, you'll see that you can easily donate to any of our program award levels. You can choose from the Bronze 500 program all the way up to the $10,000 Champion Award program, award level. Of course, we're grateful for whatever you're able to contribute. And there's an option that you'll see on the far right side of that page that allows you to donate any amount that you like. Now that you're there, Enter your contact, billing, and payment information and press make your gift at the bottom of the page. And there you have it. You will have done your part in helping us extend that Mesa magic. Washington Mesa has a long history of providing Mesa magic to students throughout the state. For over 40 years, our organization has provided support to Black and African American, Latino, Hispanic, Native American, and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander students of the state of Washington as they pursue STEM education. After they graduate, they go on and have wonderful and exciting STEM related careers, such as Dr. King has mentioned, that not only helps our economic well being, but their success has a ripple effect throughout their lives, their families, and the communities in which they live. So many of our alumni stay connected with us long after they've graduated and influence future Mesa students who follow in their footsteps. And one of the best examples I can think of as a Mesa alum who just keeps giving and giving and just radiates Mesa magic. It is my dear friend and colleague, Dr. Keisha Scarlett. Dr. Scarlett was a proud Mesa student at Garfield High School in Seattle. And since graduating from the prestigious Historically Black College or HBCU Clark Atlanta University in Atlanta, Georgia, and just to pin, are there any HBCU alumni in the space today? Please use your chat to shout out your school and I'll, I'll shout out mine now. Jackson State University in Jackson, Mississippi, Dillard University in New Orleans, Louisiana, and Howard University in Washington, DC. So shout out your HBCU in the chat. But since graduating from Clark Atlanta, Dr. Scarlett has dedicated her career to advancing academic environments that allow minoritized students to, of color to reach their full potential. While always acknowledging the impact Mesa has had on her life, Dr. Scarlett has served as a principal, a teacher. She is an award-winning leader and now is the chief academic officer for Seattle Public Schools. I could not be more excited, humble, and grateful to introduce our 2021 keynote speaker, the incomparable Mesa alumni and HBCU graduate, Dr. Keisha Scarlett. Good day. My name is Dr. Keisha Scarlett, and I'm the proud Chief of Equity, Partnerships, and Engagement for Seattle Public Schools. Welcome to the Washington Mesa Champions Dinner. I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to share my Mesa success story with you today. In addition to my own K-12 experience, I've had the honor to serve Seattle Public Schools for the past 21 years of my career in the role of middle school STEM teacher, instructional coach, the proud principal of South Shore Pre-K-8 School, and other central office leadership opportunities. My success was grounded and nurtured by a village of family, kinfolk, friends, community, mentors, colleagues, and sponsors who conspired to support me from birth to now. I would like to share how all of the investments from my village supported me into success 
and how this continues to ground my values in the pursuit of racial justice for Black, Indigenous, and other people of color. You all, I am so South Seattle. I've grown up in South Seattle my whole life and have had the pleasure of raising my own children in the same community that I grew up in. My parents are where I begin my story, Maynard and Carolyn Sofer. I am the youngest of three children and had a tremendous home base in childhood. My parents fostered and enabled my sense of self-worth, my curiosity, my voice, and my drive for serving community. My mother is now a retired educator and school counselor from SPS, and my father is retired and worked a variety of different roles. My curiosity about the world was managed and really enabled by my dad. My dad is my superhero and still is, and as a child, I talked incessantly and it never stopped. I spent a whole lot of time with him in his beauty shop in Rainier Beach. It was called Hair International at 9447 Rainier Avenue South, and if you're from South Seattle, you might re recognize that as the same address as Maya's Mexican restaurant. My father has a college degree in applied science and previously worked for Boeing and then King County Wastewater Treatment as a technician. He was hired in the early 70s, and he was the first black man hired as the wastewater technician ever in King County. My father left that work to become a barber and beautician and to become an entrepreneur and open a salon in the late 70s. My dad had a line of hair care products to go along with the super popular hairstyle called the Jerry Curl. You all, my whole family had a Jerry Curl. And at some point, um, we phased those out and maybe went to some other hairstyles, but that was really a big deal about my family. Anyway, my father had a large jugs of things called deionized water and distilled water and glycerin and recipes for combining the ingredients. I loved working in that part of the shop. I love filling the bottles according to the measurements and sticking the labels on them and stocking the shelves. So my excitement about chemistry was likely fostered by my dad. Also, my dad's shop was full of excitements. His customers were from different cultures. We were here international, by the way, but mostly black women and black men. The men mostly went to the back part of the shop, which was the barber shop, and the women went to the front beauty shop area. There was one customer over the years that really surprised me. She was a small black woman who would head to the back and get into the barber chair. No women went back to the barber chair. And had my father cut down her small afro to a really, really short haircut. This woman was magical to me in the way that she asked me questions about myself. What do you wanna do when you grow up? What books are you reading? So what do you wanna be when you grow up? You say you wanna be a doctor? Do you know what you need to study to become a doctor? She would ask me questions all of the time and I would just answer those questions and love when she came in there. I called her Dr. Millie. Well, this interaction between me and this wonderful woman became one of the most important relationships of my life. Dr. Millie Russell was a senior lecturer in biology and assistant to the vice president of minority affairs at University of Washington. From about the ages of 11 to 17, Dr. Russell sponsored me and mentored me. She took me on adventures around the city and at University of Washington. She sponsored me into different science programs. And ultimately, it was her call to another doctor, Isabella Finkelstein, the chair of biology at Clark Atlanta University, that had me on a plane the day after graduating June 13, 1992, to head to Atlanta, Georgia, for a pre-freshman summer science program. Little did I know that when I got on that plane, I would land a full ride five year BSMS chemistry scholarship through NASA. You know, NASA like space shuttles? Yes, through their high performance polymers and ceramics program. I want to talk more about the village that brought me along and have guided me and supported me throughout my career. So I had the opportunity to attend Garfield High School in 1988 along with my senior grade older brother and my 11th grade sister. Now, Garfield High School is considered one of the flagship high schools in the state, if not the city, of Seattle, and it's a school full of contradictions. It's widely regarded for academic excellence and also scrutinized for racially segregated programs. I tested into a program for academically gifted students. My experience in classes in the first few years was vastly different than theirs that they described. The majority of my classes, I was the only Black girl. In 11th grade, I joined MESA. 
And that opened up new friendships for me that I didn't have before and also new opportunities. It was so much fun. We were all black and brown students and being taught by the legendary Mr. Ron Davis, who was also my basketball coach. We traveled about the region, attending competitions, received money each quarter or semester for getting good grades in math and science, and had opportunities in the summer to attend accelerated coursework in math and science. There was none of the competition in the myth of black exceptionalism that was indirectly communicated to me in my honors classes. Instead, we had a family, a community of brilliant black and brown students who celebrated our collective successes and encouraged each other to pursue black excellence. So now Garfield, with all of his scrutiny, was an amazing village of wonderful teachers. I received excellent educational opportunities and was politicized to understand my responsibility to serve my community as a young black woman, to be about black excellence in my normative life and to fight for racial justice. Now back to my HBCU experience. From day one, Clark Atlanta University blew away any notions of black exceptionalism that I was fed directly or indirectly by the white educational system that was educating me. I really believe that they wanted me to feel like an anomaly, like I was lucky to be there. But what they failed to really understand was that black excellence was not about me being exceptional and being the one black student who was smart enough maybe to be in this group of white students that was being fed to me. That black excellence is really the normative experience of black folks. That's what I really learned in my HBCU. During my time at Clark Atlanta University, I had the opportunity to be a part of the Research Center for Science and Technology. In my scholarship through NASA, I had an opportunity to participate with other scholars from around the country, all black students, and we focused on the fabrication of high temperature composite materials for space shuttles. But our experiences didn't stop there. We were able to go to NASA sites across the country and visit during different breaks and different time periods to learn more about the work that we were doing in research. I also had the opportunity in college just to explore other campuses and other schools. So I spent one semester at UW Tri-Cities, working at um, Washington State University, and also working with the Hanford Patel Pacific Northwest Laboratories on a radioactive soil remediation project. I also had the opportunity to spend a semester at Virginia Tech in wood science. It was super sexy, you all. Um, I worked on wood glue, but we had fancy names for it. So I wrote a report for the American Chemical Society called Improved Woodworking Adhesives Through the Emulsion Polymerization of n acrylamide. Yep, I still remember. So I had this really great opportunity to be recruited back home in 1996 after graduation and to work at Boeing in Everett as a hazardous waste manager. It was then that I decided that my future didn't really lie with being a doctor as I had dreamed as a child or to be a chemist or to work at Boeing for hazmat. What I really wanted to do was serve my community, which really meant that I wanted to be a teacher in order to inspire students the ways that I was inspired. So in 1999, I became a teacher at Asa Mercer Middle School, and there I got a chance to get back connected with Mesa. Working at Asa Mercer Middle School was just such a privilege. This was a community that I grew up in with students whose families I knew in some cases. And it was really important for me to give access to students the STEM opportunities that I knew could unleash their potential. I immediately reached out to UW Mesa and arranged to implement units in my classroom instruction. My principal was super supportive of this, that she started to give me an elective class so that we could focus on Mesa the entire time. So soon enough, full circle, here I was, maybe not as legendary as Mr. Ron Davis, but for my students, I was their Mr. Ron Davis. I had the opportunity to take them on camping trips to Olympic Park Institute, take them each year to the UW Engineering Fair, Mesa Day competitions, and then when I became a school leader later, I still led the summer science program for a number of years. You see, I know the power of the village and the village that it takes to raise a child. And I also know the power of unleashing the potential of our students. Our students are not inferior. 
They just having fewer opportunities. So my experience in Mesa had a multiplicative effect on me all throughout my career. In 2014, I was named the Washington State Middle Level Principal of the Year and recognized on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. When I talked to legislators, I talked about STEM education and the opportunity for Black and Brown students to have access to high quality STEM. I had an opportunity to travel to Argentina and be a Fulbright Scholar focused on early learning, public health, and guess what, technology. Most recently, I've been invited by the Biden Transition Group to join a group of educational and public health experts to provide guidance for reopening schools. All of these things are the multiplicative effect of Mesa Magic. Having the opportunity to be part of Mesa, having the opportunity to be part of a beautiful village of people from my very birth who conspired and developed a conspiracy of care for me to be successful is what all of us are responsible for. Whether you work every day in education systems or work in some other organizations, you are mandated really to be part of this conspiracy of care. It is not okay for us to follow the status quo practices of the past. Dealing with dual pandemics has shown the need and urgency for us to really focus on education and lead with a sense of futurity around what are the amazing opportunities that we can provide for black and brown students. And an investment in Mesa is an investment in Akeisha Scarlett. So I thank you so much for your time, the time that you carved out to come and be a part of the Champions Dinner tonight. And I just thank you so much for your willingness to support the Washington Mesa program. Thank you. Dr. Scarlett, thank you. Thank you so much for the inspiration and the passion you shared with us during your keynote address. You are truly a beacon of light for me as well as countless others in our community. And also thank you to the participants for your activity in the chat. We saw that Brittany and Natalie are representing HBCUs, Jackson State University, Tina, Toffee, and Aaron are representing Howard University. Carlisa, uh, Krishna, and Kendra representing Dillard University. And thank you, Pedro from Microsoft, who just donated via their gift portal to get the company match. So let's, let's take a, a page out of Pedro's book and, and get those donations in. But Dr. Scarlett, you are such a wonderful example of how Washington Mesa alumni go out into the world and create a path for others to model after. Sis, you still have that Mesa magic, and we are so proud to call you one of our own. Washington Mesa currently serves nearly 1,300 students throughout our beautiful state. Now, let me add some context to that. Our reach extends to 20 school districts with 54 participating schools, 69 teachers, and 18 site directors. Wow. Let's give a special shout out to the teachers, educators, directors, and other leaders within Washington Mesa. Please join me for a round, a virtual round of applause. And I'll, I'll just clap from here because we're so excited about the work that they're continual, continually doing. Located throughout the state of Washington, Mesa educators have all dedicated their professional careers toward helping students and supporting their future STEM leaders. They are a crucial part of what makes Washington Mesa such a successful program. They're also part of what makes it such a rewarding program for me to be personally involved in. And you can be involved as well through your donations. So on behalf of myself, the other members of the Washington Mesa Board of Directors and staff, we would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of the Washington educators for your work, energy, and passion. You all have got that Mesa magic. It's with the efforts of these extraordinary educators that we offer the incredible programs and activities that Washington Mesa supports. We are honored to provide workshops, academic advising, transfer planning, scholarship assistance, 
and internships to students pursuing a STEM education and STEM careers. Additionally, we love to support Washington students as, as they compete in state and national STEM competitions. Because of your generous contributions, we can continue to support more students who will follow in the great footprints of alumni like Dr. Keisha Scarlett. Before I give you all an update on how close we are to reaching our $100,000 goal, let's tap into the power of this virtual event and bring in a distinguished guest. Please help me welcome one of the hardest working community college Mesa program directors in the state who tirelessly gives of herself to support students as well as her colleagues. From Seattle Central College, I am delighted to invite Mesa director Marilyn Saavedra Leva to share insight about why donating to Mesa is so significant. Thank you. Please join us. Thank you, Dr. Berry. Um, there are so many great reasons to donate to MESA, but at the end of the day, it's all about providing our minoritized students opportunity to grow to their full potential. Your donations will help us to assist our underserved students to achieve success in their studies and future STEM careers. As directors, we do this by providing our students an inclusive, caring and rigorous learning environment that is challenging and fun because we allow for students to bring their authentic selves to these STEM spaces that often don't represent the diversity that our students bring. So if we are to see Washington STEM workforce reflect the diversity of the country, our dollars need to reach far and wide. We believe that a student zip code shouldn't determine the opportunities available to them in life or their ability to contribute to society. Donating to MISA will reach students all across Washington State from K to 12 to community college in both rural and urban areas. Areas where opportunity isn't always readily available to our BIPOC, LGBTQ+, low income, and all the intersections that our students bring. I'm grateful to my partners like Fred Hutch and UW who provide meaningful internships and mentoring that help our students develop greater focus and purpose, leading directly to higher achievement in school and beyond. Um, your donations will allow for these opportunities to be paid, breaking down barriers, uh, breaking down the systemic barriers that often impact our students' ability to pursue these types of experiences. Look, we know that it takes more than just us. It, it requires an ecosystem of support to achieve our ultimate vision. So if you are committed to our cause of advancing equity in STEM, donate to MISA today. Thank you. I couldn't agree with you more with that last line. Donate <laughs> to MISA today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Uh, Director Saavedra Leva. We truly, truly appreciate you for sharing the significance of donations to Washington Mesa. Now let's check in on our real-time update to see how close we are to reaching our goal of $100,000. We are currently at $27,250 in donations. Thank you everyone who has donated so far. We are truly grateful for every dollar that you all have contributed. And there's still time for you to help us reach that Mesa magic goal of 100,000. <laughs> Every day, we have the privilege of working with students who exceed our wildest dreams. Dr. Scarlett is one of the many shining stars whose success can be largely attributed to their uh, achievement as a Mesa student. Now I'd like to introduce you to one of our current students who is a wonderful example of one of those rising stars. Shanaylin Godwin is studying biochemical engineering at Tacoma Community College and is due to graduate very soon. So congratulations, Shanaylin. I invite you to hear her story through her own words as she describes what Mesa means to her and how she will share the Mesa magic for years to come. I think that my love of STEM maybe 
bubbled into fruition once I enrolled in college and I had a counselor sit me down and say, what do you want to do with your life? And I said, politics, I guess. And she was like, is that true though? And I kind of went through what I enjoyed doing with myself and stumbled upon chemistry being a huge facet of my life that I enjoyed a lot and it kind of just turned into getting a degree in chemistry. I was actually homeless for a time and I think that that was probably one of the most formative experiences I've ever had because all the different people who were willing to take me in and instill all of their values that they had into me just a small encouraging word or a gentle nudge in a certain direction that kind of pushed me down the pathway that I took through life. I heard about Mesa through my Engineering 104 professor, Mari Chris Orama. I didn't really understand what it was at first, but once she got me to volunteer for things and come to Mesa events, I was hooked and you know, just started really taking part in, in the Mesa programs that are available here. Mesa magic is that sense of connection that you get when you learn that this random person you just bumped into is also a Mesa scholar. There's just this sense of like, like, okay, but we're Mesa scholars. Like we, we work hard and trying to get each other to be the best person you can be, I think is what I feel Mesa magic is to me. I plan to like open my own engineering firm and have my own business, you know, own a home, that kind of thing. I want to be helpful. I really just want to make a place for myself and have it be worth something to other people. I just want my mom to be proud of me and I want her to be able to look back and see what I've done and say, wow, I raised that child by myself and now she's doing all of these amazing things. Mesa is amazing for people who want to give back because they kind of hand you opportunities to do so. You just get notifications popping up on your student email five times a day. It's like, hey, you want to volunteer? You want to watch the seminar? You want to go make connections somewhere? And there's just no, no reason to not do it. So I would say that if somebody's looking to improve their community and they're not sure where to start, start with Mesa. Thank you, Shanaylin. What a wonderful story you shared with us. I am sure your mom is very, very proud of you. Shanaylin, you've got that Mesa magic. It's Mesa students all across Washington, similar to Shanaylin, who are the young leaders that lend their skills and talents to improve their communities. And in order to provide these opportunities to our students, we rely on the support of the community donors such as yourself. It's because of our friends out there in the virtual world that allow us to provide students like Shanaylin with the support she and so many others across the state deserve. Now, I'd like to turn to another fun and exciting part of our program, and that's our auction. That's right, friends. As I mentioned at the beginning of the event, there are some wonderful items we are auctioning off. Since we're all in this virtual world, the auction is going to be a little bit different than some of us uh, may have experienced or been accustomed to. But since we've been in this virtual space for a while, you've probably attended a few events like this one. So it may be a bit familiar too. This is what we call our silent virtual auction. First, let me remind you about the incredible items that we have to offer, and then I'll let you know how you can bid on them. The items include a local wine treasure, a bottle of 2016 Kill Cedar Creek Cabernet, a 2016 Long Shadows Bittner's Collection, as well as a bottle of 2016 Kill Cedar Creek Cabernet Magnum. You can also enjoy two beautiful gift baskets, an anytime is tea time gift basket and a stress-free spa treatment gift basket. Here we have this wonderful quilt of the 2021 inauguration 
as well as Alfredo Eragin's framed print entitled Dance of the Muses. We are also auctioning two $150 gift cards to Salty's on Alki in Seattle. Now I know it's lunchtime and that's sounding really, really good right now, not to mention their famous weekend brunch. So go ahead and put your bid in now. Whether you need time to determine how much time you've spent at the food, enjoying the food at Salty's or if it's wine o'clock with Kill Cedar Creek Cabernet, check out this beautiful, beautiful Apple Watch 6 series. Isn't it stunning? And we are auctioning off to you gamers, Xbox One X Gears 5 limited edition console. Wow. And last but certainly not least, I'm also excited to share that you have the opportunity to enjoy a one week stay in an extraordinary island home on the Isle of Palms in South Carolina. Each of these are super exciting ways you can support Washington Mesa. And we've also provided the auction bidding link in the chat box on both Facebook and YouTube. So please click there anytime to enter your bids. You can also open a new browser window and type in bit.ly forward slash Mesa auction to access the auction bidding page. Throughout the event today, I'll update everyone on how close again we're reaching our $100,000 fundraising goal. We have made bidding on these items that we've just talked about simple as making the donation. Click on the auction link box, it, link in the chat box on YouTube or Facebook, and it'll take you right there. Or you can take out your smartphone again, open up your camera app and point it to the QR code on the screen, and it will take you right to the auction page. And you can also open up another browser and go to bit.ly forward slash Mesa auction. And again, that'll take you to the page. Once you get to the auction page, you'll see all the items listed in their current bid amounts. And the current bids for each item is listed toward the bottom of the page. Just simply click bid. And that's where you see the drop down menu and you'll select which items you like to bid on and enter the amount that you like to bid in the bid amount link and click submit. So you can use the form as many times as you need to bid on as much as you like or you can raise your bid to make sure you are the auction winner. And the winners will be notified via email. And please remember, all of the proceeds raised during this auction go toward the funding of Washington makes the programs that empower students to feel that Mesa magic. Just so you're aware, we're going to extend the the auction so that everyone has a chance to send it out and share it to their friends and families so we can really, really take advantage of the auction process. But please note, the bidding closes on Monday, this Monday, March 15th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So hopefully this gives everyone the weekend to make sure they get all the items they want. And again, we'll be sending out updates over the weekend just so you're aware of where the bidding stands. But in order to get on this list, you first got to make a bid. So bid now and keep your eye out on updates throughout the weekend so that you don't miss out. All right. Now is the last time we're going to update our thermometer before time runs out. We are now at $27,550. You can continue giving now through the weekend and in fact, share the link again with your friends and family. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my honor to host the first ever Washington Mesa Virtual Champions Fundraiser. This has been so much fun, so much fun. Not only am I delighted to serve on the Washington Mesa Board of Directors and work as an administrator at Seattle Central College, which is a Mesa school, I am fortunate to have the incredible opportunity to engage with fantastic colleagues that support Mesa students throughout Washington State. During the first part of our hour together, Executive Director Dr. Gregory King explained the vision and future of Washington Mesa. We will continue to support students 
provide scholarships to high school seniors pursuing STEM careers, and we are so thrilled to offer our very first ever Mesa Community College scholarships. It's these types of programs uh, and services that allow us to keep our help graduate student, graduate more students like Dr. Keisha Scarlett. Her experience with Mesa was instrumental in her incredible success. And now she is still continuing to give to her community, just like so many other Mesa alumni helping to helping current students who are just like them. And I'm talking about students like Shanela Godwin. There have been nearly 3,500 students throughout the state of Washington that are so similar to her. Students who seize the opportunities Mesa provides them so that they can gain a stronger foothold on their STEM education. So they can go on and carve out their own pathways to success and create a better future for themselves, their families, and the communities in which they live. As you can see, through the tireless efforts, Dr. King, Dr. Scarlett, and Shanaylin Godwin all have got that Mesa magic. But most importantly, you have got that Mesa magic too. When you donate and contribute to Mesa, you're helping to advance equity and improve the life and future of our cherished Mesa students. When you give to Washington Mesa, you are helping spread some of that Mesa magic. So go on now, please make another do uh, donation, even if you've done so already. Hopefully these stories have helped inspire you to just give a little more. Bid on that auction item, encourage your friends and family to give, and know that for every dollar you're giving, you help some of Washington's most well-deserved STEM students gain the equity that they deserve. So go on, keep on giving and spread the word. Because of you, my friends, you have got that Mesa magic. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful rest of the day.